Well, we're going to talk a little bit about the three-year-olds. Uh, now, a lot of these horses are getting very, very close to racing. A lot of them. So pay close attention over the next couple of weeks. I do have some updates when it comes to how they're doing, when they're going to be ready. Almost there, boss. Uh, Harry seemed to allude to the fact last week he was about three, four weeks away. He'd been in 15 with them. That seemed like the timeline we were working with. I was happy with that. Not bad. And I was happy with almost there, boss. So um, we're going to keep working with that. He's been around 15. I think he said he was thinking about bringing a Mohawk going a mile and 210 within the next week or so. So we'll see how that plays out. Amor Dino's training down well. He does have a stake race in the Meadows first part of March. So that's what we're aiming towards with this guy. Probably put him and a few of the other ones in the bike. Go a mile and 28 at Tomiko if we get a nice day um, in the next week or so. Uh, Arches Rainbow, same type of thing. She's been in 15 to 18, I believe. Um, Harry understands what we're up against, right? There's a lot of balls up in the air with Arches Rainbow. Here's the first foal from a Muscle Hill mare. Beautiful trotter with a beautiful gait. She does have an issue with her airway. Now, it hasn't posed a problem since we fully diagnosed it, and it may not. That's the one thing that's very important for everybody. Oh, you got an exit on the left up here, right? I didn't know that. Uh, that's the one thing for... No, we're going south. That's the one thing for everybody to understand um, the most when it comes to this airway issue with Arches Rainbow is that it hasn't posed a problem in weeks or months with her. So um, we formulated a plan to mitigate any of those issues. At the end of the day, what it is is there's two, there, her, her one side of her airway moves a little slower than the other, which can cause an ulcer and irritation. As long as we continue to keep that lubricated, keep that um, the inflammation out of there as best we can and mitigate it along the way, we should be fine with this mare. That's my thinking. And that is also the thinking of the surgeon that we were talking to. At this point, uh, the removal of that arytenoid is, is a non-starter for me. It's not going to happen. And I don't think the surgeon really believes it needs to happen also, but it was on the table. So Arches Rainbow continues to train down well. She's been in 15. Um, I think this is a conversation that that, that uh, we're going to have quite a bit over the next few weeks as she gets closer to that qualifying time. But as of right now, I just think she's a big, good-looking filly that has a lot going for her moving into <laughs> March 2022. Better Be Sorry was great last night. I went over and drove her. Uh, a fairly easy win for her. Got away quietly when I moved her. She was all business. Finished off her supper and drove away from the horses. She looked great. Very happy with Better Be Sawyer. Blue Bayou Dio is training back very, very, very good. She looked awesome on Saturday. Dominic's been going with her. I went with Isaac 10, who will also look good, but she was no match for Blue Bayou Dio. He wheeled out from behind me, and we were really trotting on the end of it. Uh, he was just trotting a lot faster. So Isaac 10, I've been happy with, really happy with her. But Blue Bayou Dio, she had that freak speed last year anyway. You know, she won her maiden race in Kentucky, 26 and 4 on the end of it. Like, she's got legit power speed. Very, very happy with what I've seen from both those Philly, but most particularly Blue Bayou Deal. What's wrong, babe? You can't hear it? Okay, here, we got to turn up the, the volume right here. Hold on. Is that better? There you go. You're welcome. What? It's turned up now. Right? Hey, Addy, look. Addy, there's a racetrack. Right there. Used to be a nice one. <laughs> um, Bomb Hugger has been training fantastic in Northfield. I know Jason's told me twice now how good she's trained. She's still... There's no point in having her ready until right before the sire stakes. She's just got too much money made and too many wins. So it makes no sense to have her ready any earlier. Uh, Captain Mike Dio will race Thursday at Mohawk. I'm very happy with him. Schooled pretty good the other day, so we'll see how he looks Thursday at Mohawk. Confederate Cruiser trained well with Procrastinator when I was there last Wednesday. But again, on Saturday, Jason said they trained very well. Eyes of 10, as I said, trained well the other day. What's wrong, babe? Let's see. Do you need help? No, you're okay? 
you need help, or give it to me and I'll make Steve help. So we'll make speed. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Oh, I see. Like yeah. There you go. What do you say? Your no most sweat. So, uh, where are we at? Eyes of 10 look good. As I said, training, uh, very happy with her. Garden State Dios look good. She is going up to the veterinarian. That's a little loud, honey. Flip it over. No, we're getting nothing. Guess you guys are here in spirit also. Garden State Dio trained good last week. We're finally going to have her up to the veterinarian. You're not getting that. No. No. Garden State Dio is going to go up to the veterinarian on Tuesday to uh, get looked at. Okay, it's driving me crazy. Let me see this for a sec. It's too loud. Turn it. I'm just turning it down a little bit. It's too loud. There. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Grace has been training great. I know she didn't train on Saturday because the track was a little icy, but I know uh, Amy had said she looked fantastic the other day when she went. Now, obviously, I wasn't here on Wednesday, right? I was in Ohio. So I'm going, this is all third person for you, but um, Amy said that this Philly looked very, very good. And I think Cindy said she looked fantastic too. So uh, I can't, I can't tell you off the top of my head who went with her, but I know they both said she was good. Um, Granite Hill qualified like crap the other day. A little tied up, uh, a little bit of mucus. We'll try and get him back to 100% and hope that 100% is enough. If it's not, then he'll be the next guy joining the on gate crew on uh, this week coming up. We'll see. Hill of Magic was sold the other day. Why is this horse on my list? Hill of Magic was sold. Uh, Kathy with an eye qualified. Okay. A little flat. I didn't compete on, so that's a bonus. Um, but we need to see more from her. We'll see how she does this week. Massive Profit getting very close to being ready to qualify in Toronto for Mario. Very happy with him. Matt's MVP was absolutely tremendous the other day. I, I think it's fair to say he, he exceeded my expectations in that qualifier for him to beat age pacers but do it in such a nonchalant quiet matter of fact way was impressive I, I just really thought the horse showed a lot of grit the other day very very good mile from him of tom has been training down good one two skip a few i've told them to start galloping her no more training for her for the next little while this is a filly you just need to get her in shape to race she's not going to look pretty getting there she didn't look pretty getting there last year show her the track and give her the tools to do well, and she will. That's what one, two, skip a few is all about. Um, peanut butter and peanut butter and jelly is very close now. She's been training. I think two more weeks for her. I believe Mario said procrastinator trained great last week. I went with him last week. Jason, I think, said went with him the other day on Saturday. He said he was very good. He told me he was very good. I assume that meant he went with him. Maybe he didn't. He said the horse was very, very good. Purple Laura. Continues to look good. Just going to be a uh, push button, uh, push button descent back to racing for her. She just looks fantastic on the track. Uh, Renegade Gypsy looks good again. Uh, no hurry with him. I told Mario he was no rush. Just have the horse ready for April first. That would be the that would be what I would hope to see from Renegade Gypsy. Resolute Bay has looked great. Jason's done a great job, put a lot of work into this cold. I saw him in the stall yesterday, and he looked great. So I've seen him on the track a number of times. Very happy with what I've seen from Resolute Bay. Slim Jimmy, Jason said, is training down very, very good. Uh, he's looked great. In fact, one of our clients said, you have massive profit paid into a lot of stuff at the end of the year in Indiana. I know he's an Indiana bred. Slim Jimmy's done racing for us in September, October at stake races. Is there any way we could transition with some of that? It's a great idea. I never thought of that, and I appreciate Johnny and any of our clients reaching out for some of those additions or subtractions that we've made this week, and one of those additions was Slim Jimmy um, moving into some of those later date races. Stonebridge Dolce has been training down good. She's not much to look at going slow, but she's getting there. She wants to do her work. She's a worker. I really, really like this filly, and I hope she does well for us in 2022. I believe Stormer Chikati was school on Friday. First time you had the gate for him. Friday at Mohawk, I believe, is what Mario told me. Sweet on Pete has been training down great. Her and Purple Aura. It's just push button from here on in, I believe. They got everything figured out and do their work great. Uh, three point blue chip is at Julian Andy Miller's. I've been told he looks very, very good on the track, too. Very happy with him. Tie one on looks great. Harry's done a superb 
job with this horse and training him down. He looks absolutely great. Tioga Sunshine's been training also. Very good. She should be ready to start schooling, I think, in a few weeks. We'll see with her. Twinby Habanero, I liked him. I trained him the other day. No breaks, no offer to make breaks. Uh, he went a mile in uh, a mile and a half. The last mile was at 217, last half of 104, and I thought he looked good doing it. So very happy with him. But that was a telling mile also in the sense that he didn't want any more than that. Like, I tapped him on the tail halfway down the lane, and he kind of softened on me, which meant he can't go much more right now. Back him up. We'll go a couple more mile and a half, so 220 speed, and then push forward again. He's still another three or four weeks from the races. Unbeatable Kemp train good again. He's going to the bat on Tuesday. These are just checkups for Blue Bayou D.O., Unbeatable, or not Blue Bayou D.O., Garden State D.O., Unbeatable Kemp, and uh, My Mini Miracle. Uh, that's Tuesday at 9.30 in the morning. They go. Voyage of Ice and Fire, Jason said he trained him, and he trained fantastic the other day. What is going on here now? Everybody keeps getting out of this lane. All right, I'm getting out of this lane, too. Monkey see, monkey do. Um, Voyage of Ice and Fire, apparently trained guys said, Jason, I don't want to hear about it. I don't care. Uh, just show me when he's ready to go. That horse kind of broke my heart last year, so he's got a lot a lot of digging to do to get out of uh, climbing, I guess, to do, get out of the hole he's dug himself into, in my mind. Uh, Will to win Hanover 2-7 at Mohawk last quarter in 30 seconds on a very windy day. I was very happy with her. Very happy to see her do her work well. And World for 2. World for 2 um, is back training now and looking good. I suspect again, first part of March, he'll be ready to go. So that's the PA breads. I'll be back in a minute. We have, still have all the burns to talk about. Back in just a minute.